Welcome to Eden Valley Farm. My name is Adner and I want to share with you various details on growing tomatoes and how you can turn a 30 by 96 greenhouse into $30,000 revenue. I want to share with you how you can grow beautiful tomatoes just like this and grow very, very good production with large quantities of tomatoes. I want to be sharing varieties, fertilization, and how to attend to them. Stay tuned and let's get started. All right, let's talk about varieties, the varieties we have here, and as well, just a quick care ideas here that I wanna share with you. Right now in this greenhouse, uh, when it comes to aroma type greenhouse tomatoes, the one we use is Granadero. Uh, we buy Johnny Selector seeds, and this tomato performs really well. As you can see, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine sets of tomatoes in a plant that is about 10 feet high, <laughs> 10 feet tall. So that's a really good production with about, let's see, uh, with about seven tomatoes per set. So this is a really good variety. Now, when you think about greenhouse tomatoes, uh, you want to look for qualities that are disease resistant, but they are indeterminate tomatoes. And that you can see, for example, in this variety, you have good sides, good looking tomato. That's something that you want when you want to plant in, in the greenhouse and that they have vigor. That's one of the most important thing when you look for your tomatoes in your greenhouse is a tomato that has vigor because if you have beautiful tomatoes in the first three, four sets, but then up here, then you have just very low quality or small size tomatoes, then you want to try another variety. But Granadero, when it comes to Roma type tomato, it is, it is one of the best now the other one that we plant a lot here and that i have found that works well it is the geronimo uh, this is as well as a variety that we purchased at johnny select the seeds very good performance tomatoes as you can see as well plenty plenty of tomatoes on the plant and one of the things with that, that i like about geronimo is that even after four months after three months of production you still get uh, really nice tomatoes half a pound tomatoes, you're still harvesting those. Just because the tomato has plenty of vigor, it really takes its time at the beginning of the season to get to the plant to get strong. As you can tell, we have a very strong, very strong thick stem all the way through the top of the plant. And that is very important when it comes to growing your tomatoes because if you have a thin stem way up here, then your tomatoes then we'll start actually declining in quality when it comes to sizes. You may have the same flavor, but the size won't be there. Now, how to take care of your tomatoes. One other thing is that from the beginning, make sure you put, you put in the right amount of clips. You put in these clips right here. These are the clips that, that we use. And I like to put them about eight to 12 inches between them. So you don't, you don't have to put them so close to each other. Now, of course we have the uh, suckers. And basically what a sucker is, let me just show you here. What a sucker is, is this one, you have the main stem, you have your leaves, and then right in between you have this and this is what you prune off. Of course, this entire thing is a sucker, so that's why we cut them off. One of the main reasons you wanna do this in the greenhouse is that you wanna keep one vine because when you lower in the tomatoes later on, we'll show you that process in another video. When you lower in the tomatoes, it's a lot easier to, to lower and to deal with your tomatoes if you have only one vine. The other thing is, is that of course the energy that was going to this sucker, the energy that was going to this plant, now can continue in the main plant and that way you can have a better production. Now, one of the last thing I wanna share with you, it is fertilization and watering. Watering, fertilizing your greenhouse because it is a important step in a good production like you can see right here. Now, when it comes to fertilizing, tomatoes one of the things especially in the greenhouse you want to work them by stages basically when your tomato plants are are this small and 
and they are in that growth stage and that beginning stage. And when they are at this stage, very small, we're focusing now on more of nitrogen, potassium, for example. And then when they are in that blooming stage, then you wanna switch to a fertilizer that has more of that phosphorus. And then once you are in this stage, which is production, then you wanna focus now on a, on a fertilizer that is more focused on potassium because that's one that's gonna help de develop good size and as well ripen your tomatoes. One of the things that I like to practice when it comes to fertilization is that each stage of the plant has different needs and supplying those needs with the fertilizer, then it will help the plant to advance better. So, you know, when, when you're a little kid, you just play a lot, you know, and then later on in life, you do other things, you go to college. So there are different stages in life and so the plant has different stages. And that way you can do really, really well like that. Now the type of fertilizer, that we use is from a company called Advancing Eco Agriculture and it's an organic fertilizer. It works really good. It helps to enhance the soil, really develop the microorganisms in the soil and then that way you can really have a great result because one of the things that we're seeing is, is that every year our crops get better. Once you start enhancing your soil, the health of your soil, then you can really you start getting really good results. Now, when it comes to watering, then if you are in a soil that is a little heavy soil, more clay, then I like to water about every three days and just really soak your greenhouse for about four or five hours. Just really soak the greenhouse, then just let it dry for a little bit and then just repeat that accordingly. Now, when it comes to like this tomatoes right here, you can see that there's a ripening, there's a lot of tomatoes, the plants are super tall, so that the amount of water that this greenhouse is using, it's way more than the, when they were little. So just, just manage the water according to the plant's need. So I was just wanting to share those tips. One of the things that I just wanna share with you is that if you have any questions or comments, just comment below if you have any questions or you want us to make a video about something that you have an interest. Another thing that I wanna share is that in the link below as well, we have a full course that we have put together here at Eden Valley. And you can go, just click the link below, and with 10% off, so 10 off, if you do 10 off, you'll get 10% off the course so that you can start learning how to do this. I, I go over a lot of details and of course show you much more than just what I can share in one video. In conclusion here, concluding the greenhouse, how you can make $30,000 with your greenhouse, it is you have you need good quality tomatoes, you need good production, and if you choose really good variety, fertilize them well, treat them well, then you can have a really nice production and you can market your tomatoes at three, four, five, even six dollars a pound. That way you can start making a little income and pay some of the farm expenses. So thank you very much for watching, subscribe, and I'll see you in the next video.